battlefield has always been a ruthless arena where the most powerful and technologically advanced war machines clash in a brutal fight for supremacy. Lately, the two heavyweights in the tank world have dominated the scene with their impressive performance and fearsome reputation. Germany's Leopard 2 and Russia's T-90. If they fight against each other, which tank prevails in battle is the burning question on everyone's mind. In this showdown, we'll dive deep into the capabilities and features of both tanks to see which one reigns supreme in the ultimate test of power and performance. Without any further delay, let's jump right into it. Germany's Leopard 2 is a testament to German engineering and innovation, as the tank was designed to conquer the demands of modern warfare with its state-of-the-art fire control system, sensors, all-welded turret, and composite armor. The Leopard 2 was first introduced in 1979 as the successor to the legendary Leopard 1, and since then, approximately 3,600 units of different variants have been built. As of today, the per unit cost of the latest variant is up to 15 million euros. The tank is operated by a crew of four. It measures 36 feet in length, 13 feet in width, and stands at a height of 8.7 feet. Its versatility and longevity have made it the most sought after tank. Russia's T-90 is a third generation MBT developed from the T-72. Whether you're facing down enemy tanks or fortifications, the tank is a perfect weapon for taking down enemy targets with ease. Since its inception in 1992, around 3,200 units of different variants have been produced. This mighty machine is operated by a crew of three. The latest variant, T90MS, comes with inflation-adjusted cost of $5.5 million. The tank measures 32 feet in length, 13 feet in width, and 7 feet in height. The Leopard is powered by a 12-cylinder diesel engine, producing a massive 1,500 horsepower, which can push it to a maximum speed of 43 miles per hour. The tank is a behemoth on the battlefield, weighing in at a staggering 69 tons, and has a power-to-weight ratio of 22 horsepower per ton. It boasts four fuel tanks with a combined capacity of 317 gallons, providing a maximum operational range of 280 miles. On the other hand, Russia's T-90 is powered by a multi-fuel engine generating up to 1,130 horsepower, propelling it to a top speed of 37 miles per hour. The combat-ready weight of the tank is around 53 tons, with power-to-weight ratio of 21 horsepower per ton. The T-90 has a remarkable operational range of 342 miles, making it a versatile machine that can go far. The Leopard 2 tank is equipped with thermal optics image fusion system, fiber optic gyros, laser range finder, and cutting edge fire control system. The gunner station has a stabilized main sight and an auxiliary sighting telescope. The driver has thermal and night vision systems for front and rear vision. Whereas T90 is locked and loaded with the latest automatic fire control system and infrared night optics. All these sensors unlock the sharp shooting capabilities of the gunner. The tank is outfitted with a day and night rangefinder for missile guidance and conventional rounds. The system is fitted with an armament stabilizer and sensors to gauge the wind direction and speed for accuracy. The German tank is armed with a formidable 120mm smoothbore gun, capable of firing a variety of ammunition as well as cutting-edge programmable high-explosive rounds. These rounds can be programmed to perform different functions such as impacting a target in a specific way or penetrating certain types of armor. The primary gun can accurately hit targets at supersonic speeds of 1,900 yards per second. The gun can engage moving targets through enemy smoke screens in both day and night conditions. Thanks to its stabilization system, the gun stays aimed at a target while the tank moves across rough terrain. The primary gun can also shoot guided missiles with a range of up to 3.7 miles. The loader can engage ground targets with 7.62mm machine gun mounted coaxially with the main gun, while the commander can destroy both ground and air targets with turret mounted machine gun. On the other side, the T-90 is armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun, capable of firing a wide array of ammunition, including armor-piercing, high-explosive, and anti-tank guided missiles. This gun can engage a target with standard ammunition from a distance of 1.6 miles while anti-tank guided missiles can destroy a target as far as 3.7 miles. For engaging infantry or light vehicles, 
The gunner has access to a 7.62mm machine gun mounted next to the main gun. The T-90 can unleash its fury on any airborne threat with the help of 12.7mm turret-mounted machine gun. The German tank can perform effectively in both low- and high-intensity conflicts. To enhance its protection, the tank is outfitted with modular armor that provides improved frontal defense. Since the tank's armor is modular, damaged modules can be easily replaced on the battlefield. In addition, the tank is equipped with 360-degree protection against RPGs and anti-tank mines. On the contrary, the T-90 tank is equipped with an array of features and mechanisms designed to keep crew alive even in the toughest of battles. The tank's armor is reinforced with composite materials designed to withstand even the most severe of blows. The tank's outer shell is also equipped with explosive reactive armor, which can sense an incoming threat and trigger an explosion to neutralize it. The tank is equipped with an automatic fire suppression system designed to extinguish any fires that may break out inside the tank. Both tanks are war beasts, crafted with power and versatility, honed to meet the most demands of modern warfare. The Leopard 2 comes with superior sensors, advanced optics, and welded turret, but it comes with a higher price tag as T90 is cheaper to produce and has a low profile. While the Leopard may have more impressive engine and faster speed, the T90 outshines it with a remarkable operational range. The T90 is comparatively armed with a bigger gun. The Leopard's gun is renowned for its accuracy and long-range capability with conventional rounds. However, when it comes to ATGMs, both tanks have almost similar ranges. In the end, the choice of a tank for an army will depend on various factors, such as the terrain, mission requirements, and budget. We'd love to hear you, so please share it in the comments section below and be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share, and subscribe.